If you talk to fans tailgating outside of Falcon Stadium, it was pretty obvious who was going to win. That's my son. <laughs> and son, what do you feel about dad? We're an he, army stuff. He didn't get his tail kicked tonight. <laughs> this afternoon. The Air Force dominates the upper ground, the high ground. And once you have the potential energy, you can convert that all into kinetic energy, which we like to call bring in the thunder. I don't know what's going to happen today in the real game, but by the grill and by the pregame, Army wins. Inside the stadium, however, the outcome was less clear. In a classic tale of two halves, Army dominated Air Force in the first half, statistically and on the scoreboard. The Black Knights held Air Force to 81 yards of offense in the first half. Army racked up 286 yards and two touchdowns. Down but not out, the Fighting Falcons came roaring back. Scoring on five of seven second half drives, Air Force outscored Army by 24 points. Falcon defenders held the number one rushing team in the country to just 54 second half yards. This annual contest showcases both academies as premier educational and leadership institutions, where producing leaders of character for the nation is the number one goal. John Zanone, the United States Air Force Academy.